Hey, this is Ricky Kennedy Cichlids. In this video, we're looking at the Dragon Knight Peacock Cichlid Breeding Project. Now, a lot of my subscribers have been following this project and actually have probably surpassed me in the steps I've taken to breed the Dragon Knight uh, Peacock Cichlid. I kind of got to put it on hold, uh, but what we're looking at today is the Dragon Knight Peacock and how he looks today and what I'm doing to continue the project. So let me give you some background. The Dragon Knight Peacock was in this aquarium here. Uh, it was growing out. Uh, has not fully colored up. So in this video I'm going to show how I'm making him an alpha male. Uh, to make a peacock cichlid an alpha male, what you do, you have an aquarium. Uh, you have lots of females. And you have that one fish, that one male in that aquarium that automatically makes him an alpha male and he will color up very quickly uh, and will be an alpha male. He, he'll, he'll be stronger than normal, he'll get bigger, grow bigger. Uh, he'll, he'll show you an outstanding display of color and time and it will be a lot quicker than if it was just in this aquarium here coloring up. Uh, he would eventually have colored up in this aquarium but when he is an alpha male in its own aquarium he will color up big time. Now let me give you some background on what the Dragon Knight Peacock Cichlid Breeding Project is about. Basically I took Starburst, which I'll show you on a close up here. Uh, for those of you who have not seen my previous Dragon Knight uh, videos. I took Starburst, which is a Dragon Blood Peacock. Uh, it's got a really unique, unique orange coloration to him. And we took that and bred it with an OB. And then most, well, almost all the offspring from that were, oh, were uh, actually uh, the dragon bloods. No bees uh, really at all. Even when I bred them with uh, a fish sort of like Sun Glacier, where is Sun Glacier? Like Sun Glacier. Uh, almost all the fish were uh, dragon bloods. There was a few that came out that looked like Sun Glacier. But it, uh, Starburst has strong genetics, so most of the genetics that come out, even when you're mixing the, the fish with other fish, is dragon blood. So what I did, I took an offspring from Starburst that had a little bit of OB markings. And we'll get a good view of that here in the, in the video. And so uh, that's what started the project. That was step number one, is the breedum. Step number two was to raise up the, the peacock, which is the Dragon Knight Peacock Cichlid. And then step number three is do some lime breeding. So we're going to breed the Dragon Knight Peacock Cichlid back with an OB peacock. So we'll have more black markings. What I'm trying to produce here is a dragon blood with some unique black markings. But now this dragon blood is not going to be like, you know, all dragon bloods. It's going to be unique to what Starburst looks like. And there will be a few color morphs that will be interesting that could come out. But his genetics is very strong, so most of them will come out looking like Starburst. So let's take a moment to look at Starburst, which was a starting male for this project. Alright, here's Starburst, the alpha male that started this project. The Dragon Knight Peacock Breeding Project. He's got very strong genetics. Most of his offspring are Dragon Blood, no matter which peacock he is mixed with. He's got a unique color that you don't see in most fish stores. There are some similar ones on YouTube, but he does have the white lips which is unique to this fish and would be cool to have a Dragonite peacock with white lips. It's got the great orange coloration. There may be some color morphs that come out of his uh, genetics but for the most part they'll be mostly like him. So let's take a look now at the Dragonite peacock project and how the Dragonite looks at this time. Alright, right here is the Dragonite Peacock Cichlid. Notice his uh, markings behind the eye. That's the only 
place he's got OB markings on, on that one side. Now I'll notice the fish that are in the aquarium. Now I'm hoping most of these fish are females. Okay, uh, but they're some of them are juvenile and not, maybe not showing their uh, male traits, even though they may be male. So if I find any males in this aquarium, I will be taking them out. So why would you put so many females in there? Because uh, if he's breeding with them, once they've bred, he wants to breed again. That's what male peacocks do. And he can really wear out a peacock and as far as stressing them and actually can kill the fish. So I put lots of females in there. And this female here, even though it's a big one, it is a female. That's the one I'm hoping for him to breed with. And eventually, he will breed with her. He's, she's one of my oldest females, about three or four years old. And she's got some great uh, black markings. And when she has her offspring, she'll be having from 50 to 75 fry at a time. That way I don't have to do small batches and raise up small batches. And in an aquarium I can raise up a big batch. Uh, so that way I don't have to wait six more weeks to raise another batch and take up more than one aquarium. Now, the reason I like this tall aquarium, it's a 30 gallon high, you don't have to have the huge aquariums to do this uh, project, is because the male normally stays in the cave and comes out and flirts, but leaves the females alone. It works out great. Uh, in shallower tanks, there's too much harassment to the females and they get way stressed out. It can work, but it, I've had great success with this tall tank. So I'm just going to uh, raise one batch of these uh, peacocks, one with this large female here and the Dragonite. The other ones are just, the other females in here are just going to be distractions for this project. Now in the future I may use other females, but I just want one big batch from this female and then raise them up and see what they turn out to look like. That's the plan for this project. Now if you want to know what kind of filtration I use, I do use a matten filter. I use a power pump. You see the flow here. It's got really good flow here. And then something that you all have noticed in my previous videos. I use an algae scrubber. This little light here which with the bulb and the light fixture is only $10. It's a red bulb. It goes down in between two matten filters and gets the algae growing so the aquarium will be much healthier and use algae to help filter the aquarium. Now I'll have future videos on the Dragonite Peacock breeding program, so make sure you stay tuned to that. And if you want to see previous ones, I do have a playlist on the Dragonite breeding project. You can see how small he was to begin with. Uh, this project's been going on a long time, and he still hasn't colored up. So sometimes when you have a fish, you can wait a long time to color up. But now that I've got him surrounded by females and he's the alpha male he should color up fairly soon and you'll see him on a future video showing his glory so thanks again for watching Ricky Kennedy cichlids and remember dragonites are awesome you can do this project yourself so try it out if you'd like to help this channel grow make sure you give me a thumbs up well, that's very important to my channel and the views I get also, spread the word. Tell your fish buddies about it. It's tremendously effect. Word of mouth is like huge. Yes, the internet is huge, but word of mouth has been doing tremendous, tremendous uh, things for my channel. Especially in the local environment. 
people are subscribing just because they talked to someone about my channel. So tell, tell your fish buddies about this channel so you can see more footage and bigger aquariums. I'll make sure that I'll show you what you desire. So thanks again for watching. Ricky Kennedy Sickles.